Hey everyone! Welcome back to Financial Futures, your go to channel for all things related to Social Security, SSDI, and government benefits. Today, we're diving into a hot topic how much Social Security and SSDI will increase with the new raise. I've got all the details and the exact dollar amounts you've been asking about. So, let's jump right into it. But before we get started, I've got a quick favor to ask. If you find this video helpful, could you hit that big thumbs up button down below? It really helps the channel grow, and I appreciate your support so much. And if you're new here or haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button and join our Financial Futures family, where we break down all the important updates so you can stay informed. All right, let's get into it. Now, I know a lot of you have been reaching out in the comments asking, I get $1,200 a month. How much will my increase be with this new raise? Well, you're not alone. This is probably the number one question I've been receiving. So, in this video, I'll break down the numbers based on the official 2.5% cost of living adjustment, COLA. Trust me, I've crunched the numbers, and I'll get you within $1 of your actual new benefit. First, let me clarify something important before we dive into the exact dollar amounts. Your increase will be applied to your gross monthly benefit, not your take-home amount. That's the amount before any deductions, like Medicare Part B premiums, which is often overlooked. So, for example, if you're getting $923 deposited into your account after the Medicare Part B deduction, your gross benefit is probably closer to $1,097. That's the number you'll apply the 2.5% raise to. Okay, here are some real numbers for you. If you're receiving $600 per month, your new benefit with the 2.5% increase will be about $615. That's a $15 increase, or $180 per year. $700 per month your new amount will be $718, which means an $18 monthly raise. $800 per month your new monthly amount will be around $820, with a $20 increase. $1,000 per month you'll see your benefit jump to $1,025, that's an extra $25 a month or $300 annually. And for those receiving the average Social Security retirement benefit, which is around $1,900, your new benefit will be approximately $1,948. That's a $48 increase per month, or just under $600 a year. Now, I know what you're thinking these numbers aren't massive, but they do add up over the year. Unfortunately, one thing we don't know yet is how much the Medicare Part B premiums will increase, which could offset some of these gains. Typically, we get those numbers by early November, but this year, it seems like they're holding off on releasing that info until the end of the month. Coincidence? Maybe. But let's just stay prepared for that update. Now, if you want to calculate your own benefit increase, it's super simple. Grab a calculator or use your phone, and here's how you do it. Take your gross monthly benefit. Let's say you get $871. Multiply that by 0 0.25, which is 2.5%. So, $871 times 0 0.25 equals about $22. That's your monthly raise. Add that back to your current benefit $871 plus $22 and your new monthly amount will be about $893. It's that easy. I hope that helps you figure out what to expect with this upcoming raise. And remember, these increases might not seem like a lot, but every little bit counts especially when we're talking about monthly budgets and those everyday expenses that just keep creeping up. As always, I'll keep you posted as soon as we get more details, especially on the Medicare premium updates and any other legislative changes that might impact your benefits. Thanks so much for tuning in today. 
Don't forget to drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you want me to cover more topics like this. And once again, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest news impacting your financial future. I'll catch you in the next video. Stay informed and take care.